Right, hey guys, it's Weston here. So today I'm going to be reviewing the Edifier M1 360 2.1 speaker system. And I'd just like to say a massive thank you to Edifier for sending this out for this review. So anyway, let's get into it. So the M1 360 is a 2.1 system that contains a sub and two satellites. It also has a controller, which I'll cover in a minute. So the sub measures in at 240 deep by 221 high by 138 wide. So it's actually fairly compact. The satellite's measuring at 101 deep by 148 high by 62 wide. So again, pretty compact. And actually the overall system itself is pretty small. So if you've got a small room, you could actually probably fit this in no problem. So let's talk about the things individually now and we'll start with the controller first. So on here you've got a really nice soft touch volume dial and it actually scrolls really nice and smoothly. It's also got a mute switch on there so if you need to mute it quickly you just simply press the button and you don't have to mess about on your PC. It also has a headphone jack on the back so that means you can plug in a pair of headphones without unplugging the system which is pretty cool. So the sub next is made from MDF and has a 4 inch downward firing sub. Now this is allowed to breathe by one foot in each corner which raises it off your surface. The sub is really clean and minimal looking and it just has a little bit of Edify branding on the front. It also has a front firing base port so that means positioning you're not going to need to be too picky because it can pretty much go wherever you want it to. Around the back we've got access to a few things. We've got access to your power and basically your connection for your satellite speakers and that's pretty much it really. Then we get onto the satellites and these are really nice, they're quite modern and sleek looking with their angular design. At the front we've got a little bit of Edifier branding on the cloth which is designed to protect your two satellite drivers. And you can also see looking at the speaker side on they are angled upwards towards your listening position. You can also see looking side on that they're made in a two piece design. One piece is where it houses your driver and the other portion is basically like a support for the entire speaker. And then finally around the back in a quite hard to spot position actually we've got a left and right indicator. As well enough for the system it's actually really nice, it's quite minimal looking, it's quite clean and quite modern and I think it would pretty much fit in most setups. So onto the sound now and uh, it is actually loud enough to fill a decent sized room. So anyway the bass is actually better than any equivalent 2.0 system which is kind of obvious because it's got a sub but let's talk more about it. So the drop is actually okay it goes fairly deep but it is lacking that sub punch. It is just enough to add a little bit of depth to your sound, but it's not going to be anything that's going to really impress you, unless you are willing to adjust your EQ a little bit to obviously improve the bass frequency. The mid-range is very clean, it's very clear, and actually it's surprisingly detailed. It's got good tonal quality, it is slightly warm, and it's got decent separation in sound and both stereo as well. The vocals are really good again, they're very clean and they're very minimal sounding. They also project quite well and again have got a nice tonal quality, they're never overwhelming or shouty and actually they're pretty well judged in how they're presented. The highs are pretty crisp and never overbearing or greater. So overall it's actually a very decent sound. The bass needs a little bit of a boost just to give it that bit more impact like a sub really should provide. The mid and vocal are pretty great as they are. I mean all in all it's better than pretty much any 2.0 system I've heard. So yeah, for the price, it's actually pretty decent. Right guys, so that is pretty much it for this review. So what do I think of this system? Well, for around £25 in the UK, some places it is a little bit more expensive, but you can get it from uh, Overclockers for £25 at the minute. So for that price, it's actually pretty reasonable. It's nicely designed, it's well made. It's got some decent features. I mean, it is missing a few things like the bass control and treble control, which would have made it a little bit better. But yeah, that's just one of those little things. But yeah, overall, as a package, it's really quite impressive. Now, on places like Amazon, it's £40, and that kind of makes it a little bit of a harder sell. But definitely, if you can get it for £25, then I'd say it's worth it. Any more than that, then I'd look elsewhere. Right, guys, so that is pretty much it. If you've got any questions about this system, then drop me a comment down below. Any likes, shares would be greatly appreciated as well. And finally, if you haven't subscribed, that would be awesome, and it goes a long way to help out the channel. So thank you again for watching guys and I will see you all on the very next one.